Hey folks, Michael Collins here in ViralReporter.com. Guess where we're at? Well, if you know your national parks, this is Death Valley National Park in central Southern California. And as you can see, it's raining. Much to our distress, we've just checked this rain and it's coming in at over seven times background. Check that out. That's a 10 minute reading coming in at 3,134 counts on our inspector nuclear radiation monitor, which all you folks know checks for alpha, beta, and gamma radiation. So we took this swipe off of our the, the uh, windshield of our car about an hour after, rain, after the rain started to slightly uh, uh, come down here in Death Valley. As you can imagine, this is one of the driest, hottest, it is the hottest place on earth, but it's one of the driest. This is a very rare rain storm, but you know, this place has got to get water somehow. Now, that amount of radiation is a little over seven times background. Even if there's radon progeny in it, and we will retest it in exactly one hour, this sample that we have here, that is far more radiation than radon progeny could even account for. So, what's our most likely source? This is a rainstorm on the jet stream that's dipped down, and the jet stream comes from over the Pacific, and over Japan, and over Fukushima Daiichi. That's our most likely source of this radiation. I want to tell you something. As most of you know, any kind Anytime you get radiation out of any kind of material that's over three times background, you get a problem. Two times background, you pay attention. Three times background, you've got a problem. California Highway Patrol considers any substance over three times background to be hazardous, hazardous enough to be called a hazmat incident. This is double that. This is seven times background. Now, for any skeptics out there, let's just take that off the... Uh, take that off the uh, uh, sample there. Now we're going to uh, recalibrate uh, our uh, inspector. Just give me a moment here, clumsy moment, but I'm going to make it check in live time for you. Check it out. This is how, we, we got about a 44 when we checked background about half an hour ago. As you all know, the inspector averages every three seconds. When you hear a beep in about 10, 20 seconds, that's going to be the 30 second period that the inspector is actually showing you the true average. It'll just go beep beep out here in Death Valley National Park. There it is. So it's taking a three minute average and you know that when we take a 10 minute reading it's much more accurate. So just check this out. Now you'll note that this sample is on a plastic plate. It's on a couple of plastic boxes, which are over six inches off that stone there. When we took our background readings that got us to, I think, 44.3 counts per minute, uh, there was an interior on the same setup. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the inspector, coming in at 48, and we're going to bring her right on down to the rain sample out of Death Valley National Park on November 21st, 2013. This is live time. Folks, we've been reporting on this, the Fukushima Daiichi triple meltdowns since March 15, 2011, over two and a half years ago. EnviroReporter.com has been in existence since 2006, drawing on the experience that we've had reporting on the environment since 1998. This, in our estimation, is Fukushima Daiichi sourced radiation. There is no other source for this radiation that we can come up with. And yes, it's coming down in the rain. It's coming down here in Death Valley National Park. Now I just want to say a couple things. What we've talked about over the last couple years, two and a half years, is how to control 
your water that you drink, your rain, not your rain, your food, your air, and your information. Well, here you are. You're getting it straight from EnviroReporter.com. I'm here with my foxy wife, Denise Ann. We're bringing you this information, hoping that you'll know that this means that the threat from Fukushima is alive, it's getting worse, it could get way worse in the next few weeks with the attempted removal of the spent fuel rods from spent fuel pool number four, and we might just see more high radiation in the rains here at Death Valley National Park and across the United States, Canada, and in Europe and beyond. This disaster keeps growing. It's not getting any better. This is EnviroReporter.com's highest radiation readings in rain in the two and a half years that we've been reporting on this terrible tragedy. Man-made avoidable tragedy. You know what? As bad as it is, it can get a lot worse. So what we need to do, as you all know, is look at the uh, sources of radiation that could get into our environment from a nuclear disaster and try to reduce the risk of that as much as possible. We talk about this in our new series, Black Swan Songs. We urge you to read it. Real important. So from here in Death Valley National Park, it's Denise Ann and Michael Collins from EnviroReporter.com. Hot news, real hot news.